Good afternoon, everyone. How you doing? Hope you're all having a great day so far. So today we're doing something a little different, as we always do here, because it's fun and you can. So I picked up a Gibson Les Paul Special, a 2014. I had one of these when I was out in California, and due to COVID, a lot of stuff had to get sold off because of uh, financial problems due to everything being closed. But I picked pick this one up, and it's actually pretty good. I think someone had done a refin on it, and it looks more like a 50s uh, Gibson than it does a modern one. Still, pickups sound great. Thing plays phenomenal. And so we've decided to do something a little different with this by using this in a more hard rock uh, territory that I would normally use for humbuckers. So we're going to go through this, show you the gear, show you the mics, show you the amps. We're using something a little different for the guitar amps today. And let's see what happens, okay? All right, stay tuned. Okay, so first up, this is the newest edition. It is a Gibson Les Paul Special. I'm guessing around 2014. Like I said, I believe it's been refinished because it's hard to see the serial number. Um, it's got all kinds of uh, checking and whatnot on it. And it isn't old enough to have all that, to be honest, unless it was left someplace really terrible. But I don't think they offered these in a TV yellow in 2014. I had a walnut one. And I think they only had two colors. It was either walnut and maybe a red, but that was about it. And so again, once again, we have the dreaded Beetle bass because I really dig this. It sounds absolutely killer. And the more I play it, the more I fall in love with it. And so what we have going on here is for the front end, we have, again, the Heritage Audio stuff. Uh, the HA-73 is being used for the bass and the HA-81 is being used for the guitar. And the 73 goes through the Lin 76 compressor, and the HA81 goes through the API R22 compressor. Again, we're using Logic, and we're going to go over and check out the amps now. Oh, yeah, pedals. Yeah, we need those, yeah. So for this one, again, something a little different. I like putting uh, an Exotic Effects SP Comp or an EP booster in front of my drive a lot of times. Sometimes I won't just because I do it a lot. And you want to get some different tones. So this one, I have the SP Comp going in front of a Maestro FZM Fuzz. Really great pedal. I love this one. This one is really cool. And then that goes into an Electro Harmonics The Worm. <clears throat> this thing does um, wahs, trems, uh, vibrato, it, and phase. Honestly, it's all kind of the same thing. But it does a little interesting thing more so than some other pedals. But it's cool. It's fun. And I have one, so I can use it. <laughs> So let's move along to the amps and the mics. Say hello to Horatio. And so over here, we are using a Vox AC30 head into an older uh, 80s Marshall 212 cabinet. And on that, the mic is a Roswell Pro Audio Mini K47. I love those things. Every time I use bigger amps, I will put a THD hot plate on this. These are phenomenal little attenuators. If you don't have one, you should. And uh, that's all I got to say about that. They definitely come in handy. They sound great and they keep the volume down so you don't go deaf while you're doing stuff. And then next over here, we have the Rumble Bass Amp. And as always, we are using the Roswell Pro Audio Mini uh, K67X. I like this one. These are really cool mics. I mean, for the price, you didn't think they would be all that great, but they are actually really phenomenal mics. Incredibly versatile. I can use either the 47 or the 67 on electric guitars, basses, vocals, um, acoustic guitars, and it all sounds good. I mean, they're just really top notch and the build quality is really good. I dig that. And so that's what we have going on here. And then let's hear a little bit about what we have going on for the music. So here we're just going to hear a little bit of the music. You can hear what the raw guitars, the raw bass, and the drums sound like. And here's what we have. So everything sounds pretty good. Um, things have to be balanced and maybe a little bit of EQ, but not as much as I thought it was going to need. 
Um, it's always fun when you do something and you get the sounds you want straight off or really close to what you want straight off. So you don't have to do a whole lot of work afterwards. And so that concludes today's stuff for today's sessions. Thanks for checking this out. If you like it, like always, please share, uh, send it to your friends, colleagues, family, whoever. And thanks for checking it out. Have a great day. Bye.